Hello, this tutorial will show you some of the features on your Chromebook. First thing, the Chromebook is a cloud-based client laptop, which means that everything that you do on it uh, is a cloud-based application. So there's nothing, no applications or anything that are actually downloaded onto the Chromebook. First thing we want to make sure that you're aware of is how you add applications or websites to what's called the shelf. There's no desktop on a Chromebook. So in order to save favorite applications or websites, you can pin them to your shelf. So to do that, you will use the apps launcher. Okay, you can drag and drop any of those items to the uh, shelf down here or you can right click and you can pin that to this shelf. Okay, in order to right click on a Chromebook, there's a couple different ways that you can do that. You can use two fingers, two fingers on the trackpad at the same time will right click. Another way to right click on a Chromebook is to use the alt key. So if you hold down the alt key and use the trackpad and touch, you will also get a right click. So dragging and dropping to the shelf or right clicking on that icon in your apps launcher will allow you to drag it right down to the shelf. All right, next thing, accessing bookmarks on your browser. So you can see the bookmark bar you will have a bookmark um, bar that, or a book, I'm sorry, a folder on your bookmarks that's called student links. If you click on student links, that will uh, bring you to places like Launchpad, Focus, and so forth. Make sure that you're using the Launchpad that is in your student links in order to access the correct Launchpad. Okay, if I go to a website and I want to bookmark it, okay, all I have to do is click on the star next to that URL bar, okay, and that will allow me to bookmark that website. If I want to add that website down here to my shelf, what I do is click on the three dots. I'm going to scroll down to the option that says more tools. One of those options is add to shelf. If I select that, I can select a name for that application or website, and it will then be added to my shelf. Another thing in the Chromebook that's different from a desktop computer is where files are stored. So in order to access files that you've downloaded, or are already in your Google Drive, you can click on the Apps Launcher. If yours looks a little different, it's very likely it will. I'm using a different version of Chrome that is currently installed on student Chromebooks. Okay, you're going to search for a, uh, the application that says Files, looks like a folder, and click on it. Anytime you download anything from the uh, web, it's going to automatically go into your Google Drive. Okay, you also have the option at any time to store something on the computer. Uh, if you choose to do that, you can drag it from Google Drive and you can move it right into your downloads. What that will do is it will store it locally on the computer and you can have it available for ac or offline access. In your settings in Google Drive, it should be automatically defaulted that you can access Google Drive uh, documents um, when you are offline. So if you have something that you're working on in class and want to um, don't have an internet connection, you should be able to access those documents even without an internet connection. Some other little tricks, using a two-finger scroll. So a lot of times when you're on a page, 
you want to scroll down to the bottom of that page and you have to find the scroll bar. And sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain. So in order to, let me go to a website here to show you, you can use two fingers, okay, that will allow you, um, and pushing up or down will bring that page so it's using um, the scroll feature, but you're not having to go over here and try to find that bar to scroll up and down. Uh, if you want to close out the window that you're currently in, if you use three fingers and push upward, that will allow that particular window to kind of minimize. If you have multiple windows open, then you can select um, which window you want to work with. Another important thing is knowing how to reset the wireless. When you go from class to class, you are switching the access points or commonly known as, as a router. So sometimes when you go from your class to class, the computer is holding on to that previous access point. So if you're not getting any kind of internet connection, here's how what you can do to solve that problem. In the bottom right hand corner, if you click down here, this is your status area bar. Okay, you will get a, a menu that appears um, something like this. Okay, you should all say connected to BDS. By clicking on that, it will show you that you are connected to the network, what network you're connected to. But this little thing right here, I'm not going to click on it, but if you click on it, it will turn your wireless off and then click on it one more time, it will turn it back on. What that does is establishes a new connection to the access point of the classroom that you are um, in. So that right there will help you with any kind of internet problems. So turning the wireless on and off. Another thing to make sure that you're careful of is when you're walking with the Chromebook, close the lid. Okay, it's very, very easy to walk around with that Chromebook lid open, but it just takes one person bumping into you and losing your balance and the Chromebook drops. If the Chromebook drops, unfortunately, it's probably going to crack. Even with the case on, it does provide a little bit of protection, but not completely. So make sure that when you're walking from place to place that you have that lid closed. When you put the Chromebook in your backpack, if you're putting it between heavy books, it's putting a lot of pressure on that screen, uh, which could cause it to, to crack. So make sure that you have a area in your backpack that doesn't have heavy, or it's not in between two heavy books. All right, when you're shutting down the Chromebook, there's a couple ways to do it. All right, you can hold down the power key you can also come to your status area and click sign out, and then you can shut it down. You can also just come here and click shut down. Since you're the only user on the Chromebook, it really doesn't matter if you sign out, if you're shutting down. Over on the left-hand side of your shelf is a little circle. We saw that earlier. This is your apps launcher but it will also do things that maybe you're not aware of. So if you are trying to solve a math problem, not necessarily a math problem from your math teacher, but just, you know, a simple problem. Let's say I want to find out what 700 minus 358 is. It will act as a calculator. So your apps launcher in that search bar will allow you to search for websites, for apps, and it does simple tasks like an example is using the calculator. All right, that's some basic things um, on your Chromebook. We will have more tutorials that will be helpful for you in the future. Thank you.